Yes. I like okay. it. Very and then I'm gonna use my spear to attack this goblin here. The yeah, goblin yeah. cackles as it dodges underneath your spear. Evil little creature. And the convict yells. Bastard animals. Next one is Duncan. Again, I'm, I'm sort of like a well-oiled machine at this point, reloading my crossbow in an instant, and then I get on one knee, I aim. I aim at this one right here. And then, um, I thought I used one AP aiming, and then one AP shooting again. Mm -hmm. Good, it doesn't defend. Um, and then I use... That's five damage to the body. Good. A nasty blow. The goblin recoils against your crossbow bolt. Next one is the goblin right next to Clovis with his evil beady little eyes. He's gonna try and take a swing at you with a nasty looking goblin axe. Do you defend? No. How about that? Um, yeah. Okay. So he, he, he slashes at you. It's not much effect. A nasty blow, but really not much effect. Next up is this goblin who steps here. Gonna try and attack you. Do you defend? No. There we go. You take six crushing three damage to the body. He's gonna press advantage, then he's gonna try and attack you again. I guess you don't defend. Nope. Two crushing three in the body. This time it really doesn't get past. Hits you with an axe for five in the head. It doesn't break past your armor. Also going to try and attack you again. Clovis is getting battered right now. Clovis, you Ooh. take a devastating 11 damage to the body. So four damaged hit points, you take more and yeah. more wounds, you're strong, but nonetheless you're starting to weaken. And then he will try and attack Clovis, do you defend? No. He fails. Um, he's gonna try and attack you, do you defend? He has no. a cudgel in his hand, okay. He fails, then he's gonna try and do it again. Let me do it myself. You take eight crushing three damage to the body. A really nasty hit. He steps forward, whacks you so hard with the cudgel. You're surprised the creature so small can have so much force. Takes the wind out of you. Start getting more and more wounded. Gonna try to skedaddle around his fellows here. Gonna try and attack you. Do you defend? Uh, I'm gonna use one stamina point to uh, to shove him back. You see this big, big goblin start going crazy in front of you um much bigger than his companions he rushes in right with a big big old axe so he's gonna try and all yes. attack you all of the goblins nearby are gonna spend a stamina point to gank up on you um and this is probably gonna be one of the nastiest rolls we've ever seen in our campaign oh no oh shit Clovis got in a really bad spot there. Oh my god, bro. And then he tries to attack you again. Okay. For a tremendous 12 damage to your left leg. Plus splitting, which is for 16 damage minus your armor. Oh, you're also badly uh, injured. You have to I'm, willpower. I'm out. You take a 12 hit point wound as you fall down. Yep. You collapse. You all see Clovis, although very powerful, with his spear in hand. You see him being ganged up so quickly by goblins, it's insane. They all start jumping all over them, slashing at him with weapons. You eventually see him go down quite quickly, and this is the time where you all start being a bit afraid about what might happen next. You have to make me an endurance test. Yeah... Next one is Duncan. You see your new companion having just fallen. I initially was going to go there to rush in and, and be by his side, but no point now. 
I'm gonna shout out to my other colleagues. Uh, I'm gonna say, oh god, can we win this? Judging from the way you see the melee evolve, fear starts creeping up on you on the fact that you have no chance of winning. Though, there is always no, time we, for heroism. We, we cannot, I don't think we can win this by um, just doing a straight up fight. I think we need to be smart and use range. Oh, that's a shot. 11 right, damage, that's going to be... Skewer a gallery. As I see uh, Clovis uh, drop down, I quickly, my sheep, feet shift, and I start rushing with my crossbow in my hand, pitter-pattering up the side of the, the cliff. Then, on a whim, I just take out a bolt, skid down onto my feet, lift my uh, crossbow up, peek in with my eyes, and then phew, shoot. My uh, crossbow whooshes through the trees, through the hills, slowly gliding gracefully down the hill, straight into this goblin's chest, impaling him in the heart. Blood starts to gurgle and spit out of his mouth, and then in one final sigh, his life leaves his body. Wonderful, you've brained the goblin, his gore and viscera and pink matter spread out across the cliffside. You all regain a luck point for your adversity against danger. Next is Sam, seeing what's going down. Yeah, I will assume that those thingies will try to get to uh, Duncan now. So what I will do is set up an ambush. He's gonna laugh to himself, pulls off Clovis's full steel boot, and runs off with it.